as and um, I'd like to introduce you now in the flesh, Harry South. Harry South. Woody Herman. This one, I suppose, is reminiscent of the um, Four Brothers. It's a feature for saxophone section on the chorus of Cherokee. It's called Woody.
tenor is there. From Bridport in Dorset, Michael Smith on tenor. Scott Garland from Tunbridge Wells. From Peterborough, the Peterborough effect himself, Adrian Revell. And a soprano saxophone from Birmingham, Sarah Garb. You must be wondering what this gentleman here is doing. What he's doing is a sort of extension of poetry and jazz and basket weaving and jazz and pottery and jazz. Doing something which actually doesn't take away from the music but rather contributes to it. He's actually drawing the portraits as we play them. Say hello for, to Bath, from Bath, Melchior, in fact, Jack Pennington. And I'm pleased to say that um, copies of his pictures will be available for sale during the interval, so you can actually go away with a tangible souvenir of all this industry that's going on here. The second piece I'm going to play for you is a dedication to Stan the Man. Stan Kenton is a ballad, it's called quite simply Kenton. <coughs>
Trumpeter Pete Cooper. On trombone, Mark Nightingale. Next one we're going on to, we should really have all the trumpet players with those trumpets tilted up in the air, like, uh, is there one here? Yes, there we are. This one here, the, the, the tilted trumpet, is a tribute, of course, to Dizzy Gillespie. But instead, it's just, um, they've got ordinary trumpets instead. Our French horn player moves across onto Cowbell, very important role there. And um, this piece called Dizzy it features the youngest member of the orchestra, 15 years old, Gerard Presenza, from Bushy in Hertfordshire. Dizzy.
Gerard Presenter. And the saxophone then, Mike Smith. Michael Smith. Right, I'm going to go on now by um, tribute to the most influential of all big bands. Everyone talks about Ellington, they talk about Kenton, but the band that's influenced more other bands than any other is the Basie Band. The sound of the Basie Band, the phrases of the Basie Band, above all the economy and the space of the Basie Band. This piece is firmly marked at the top, top speed. Crotchet equals 100, not a crotchet faster. But if it's a crotchet faster, you can buy, the band will buy everybody a drink. Anyway, here we go, Basie.
Basie. And the music trumpet solo there from Martin Shaw from Birmingham. Trombone solo, the music trombone of Dennis Rollins from Doncaster. And making the appropriate noises on piano there, all the way from Milton Keynes to play for you this evening, Peter Murray. The next composer is Duke Ellington. And we felt that Duke Ellington was too important a figure just to have one piece. So we've got two pieces, Duke One and Duke Two. It's actually, we're going to get Sylvester Stallone over to direct the orchestra and make it three, four and the like. Anyway, the first one is a ballad. It spotlights the baritone saxophone of the lovely Alison Brown. Duke. <laughs>
And now we'd like to present Duke Two. You'll bet right at it. called Jacob for Jacob Pistorius, but Harry said that he didn't think anybody could draw Jacob Pistorius, and Jack didn't know what he looked like, did you Jack? So we thought, Quincy Jones, because nobody knows what he looks like either. Uh, so we thought this one would be better if it was dedicated to Quincy Jones, but it's also by way of being a dedication to Jacob Pistorius. So it starts off at least as being a feature for our bass player, Phil Mulford. It's called Quincy. Thank you. 
Quincy. And the soloist there, on flute there, Michael Smith. Playing the saxophone, Scott Garland. Trumpet, Peter Cooper. And the piano, Peter Murray. Guitar, Mikey Eves. And binding the whole thing together, the amazing Philip Mulford from Ashford and Middlesex. We've got a couple more to go, and this one is dedicated to one, what? Two more to go, that's right. Uh, this is dedicated to one of Jazzy's great eccentrics, Thelonious Sphere Monk. Now when Harry came to write this, he actually said he wasn't all that keen on Monk. Actually, I think, and the band thinks, this is one of the best pieces. So there you are, it just goes to show you don't actually have to be in love with the person that you're trying to depict. And the picture's coming on, by the way. I haven't really been talking very much about these dogs. What? And the winner, you're ahead. Oh, you have to just spare one, just spare one of somebody. Anyway, um, this is all Monk. And it features once again the tenor saxophone of Scott Garland and the piano of Pete Murray. <coughs>
Lindsay, Scott Garland. Thank you very much. We come to the last one now of this series. Not by means of the last one that Harry's going to write. He's written all these things in the middle of the night. He rings me at about eight in the morning. He says, I haven't been to bed. I've finished another one. Will you come and collect it? So I have to trail into Euston, meet him, have the obligatory double brandy. Becky goes to bed again. And uh, this is one which he wrote, oh, what, about a, month, two, a couple of months ago, just before the broadcast we did. Incidentally, all this music you're hearing is going out on a BBC broadcast, sounds only, not pictures. Because well, Actually, he drew the pictures, but they weren't very visible, were they? We had him there drawing them, but not a lot of people could see them on their radios. Anyway, um, that's why we're doing it for television audience, so you can actually see the pictures. Um, this last one is a piece dedicated to the late, great Charlie Parker. It's called, quite simply, Bird. Oh, April the 3rd, sorry, I should have told you. April the 3rd, it's Easter Sunday night, midnight. <laughs>
special round of applause to the man who made all this wonderful music possible. Harry Sow! Harry Sow! I'd like another round of applause to the man who made the band possible. And what about the band? For me, I tell you, I love every minute of it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, fellas and girls. Thank you. I'll hand you back to Bill. Thanks, Al. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a break. Paul Harry's back to work again because he's playing. He's playing the interval spot. <laughs> and that's right. Um, we would like to tell you that uh, Jack will actually have these pictures he's drawn today and a load of others that he prepared beforehand out of a used washing up container and they'll be on sale. Where are you going to put them? On a table over there somewhere. Where will they, where will they be? Over there on the table. If you want to get hold of these pictures uh, they will be autographed by Jack Pennington. Probably, not certainly, the most gifted jazz um, cartoonist, caricaturist, artist, portrait painter in the whole of Britain. From Bath, from Melksham. Jack Pennington drawing pictures here. And Jack is actually the leading um, proponent and putter on of jazz in the West Country, in modern jazz that is. He discovered John Christensen, and this evening John Christensen is going to discover him. And Ronnie Scott, of course. Well, you discovered Ronnie Scott as well, did you? Oh, no. Very good. Anyway, we're going to have a break now. As you can see, our second half programme is somewhat small. If you know something from our library you'd like to hear, do ask us because the programme isn't fixed. Well, we don't need to play any of these tunes at all. So if you'd like to hear something from our library, do ask. No, it quite doesn't worry me at all. But you've got to be something that we play. Don't come and ask us for in the mood because we ain't got it here. See you all in about half an hour's time. Thank you.